Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I'm going to go ahead and do my February favorites. Uh, before I get started, um, I did have a lot of people wanting me to do a review and spudges on the uh, two Alta palettes that I showed in my haul, the Rose Gold and the Gilded Gold. And I will be doing that. I'll probably have it up by this weekend. I've been playing around with them and um, taking some pictures. And um, which I have the rose gold on today. I'm not sure. Uh, I went a little uh, daring and kind of put like a dark color on my lids instead. Um, so I'm not. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about the whole look. For sure, I. I don't know. I mean. I haven't done that for a long time, but um, I will give you my thoughts and, and my input on what I think of the palettes and also like I said I'll do the swatches for you guys so stay tuned for that and also thank you so much for all the new people coming along my new subscribers I really appreciate it hope you stay with me and join me each week with um, my reviews and my videos well it's not just reviews just a little of everything I do on here so um, but it's always uh, something beauty related or I mean, it could be even fashion at some point, you never know, or accessory kind of stuff, or any of that kind of stuff, but uh, my, my very favorite is, of course, the beauty, so. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get started, which I always uh, like starting off with my hair care products first, then I'll go to my skincare products, and then the makeup, so. Alright, so for hair care products, I had this in my last favorites, and it's in this favorites again for a reason, because it is a favor. I am loving these products. I never heard of this company that actually contacted me and wanted me to try these products out and do like a review on them. And so this, there will be a review upcoming at some point here um, on these products. And I have really been enjoying them, so I want to put them in my favorites. Um, and it is from the company is called Beautiful Nutrition, I believe that's the name of them. And um, so this is the grapefruit detox conditioner and shampoo and this is i use this once a week and it has just been so great to remove any uh build up or any kind of stuff that you have on your scalp kind of just refreshes it and i'm just i'm loving that so look for review and also along with it um, I've been loving the ultralight leave-in leave-in or rinse out frizz solution. It's um, yeah, like a leave-in conditioner kind of a thing. Been loving this too, and this baby here is gonna last me a long time because all the more you need of it, this is a big thing. Yeah, right there, beautiful nutrition. That's on the bottom right there. So they will be having their they sell their stuff on Amazon right now, but they will be having a site up here very shortly too. So. Then the other thing I've been loving um, is my Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist. It's three times the moisture in three minutes. Um, I know a lot of people have talked about this before. There's several different ones that you can get, the Three Minute Mass. Uh, this one's for the moisture, um, and it has been working really great in with my whole routine that I've been doing for my hair. So I really, really love that, and very inexpensive, like about $3 or three something. And I've had this in a in a favorites before, and I do. This is still by far my favorite uh, curl cream. It's from Jane Carter Solution Curl Defining Curl Defining Cream. This stuff has just been very amazing for my hair. It's not sticky. It leaves it soft. It's not you know like frizzy or anything. Um, if you're in the market and you want to find a nice good curl cream, like if you have natural curly hair. Um, and you want to find a nice curl cream, I would highly suggest maybe checking out this uh, from Jane Carter. You can get her stuff now at Sally Beauty's and Beauty Supply. And I do believe Rite Aid sells some of her stuff. Um, so see if they maybe have the curl defining cream. Um, I, I, if you're somebody that really likes uh, products that's like natural ingredients and stuff, uh, and you're just looking for something new or different for a curl cream, I would point that direction. So, okay. Then... For face, I'm really, really enjoying for um, drugstore, considered drugstore, you know, whatever, um, the Garnier products. Uh, this is the Garnier Clean uh, Smoothing Cream Cleanser. It gently cleans, restores, and softens. It's for dry skin and it has jojoba and macadamia oils in it. Um, 
this has been a big saver for me for this brutal winter weather that we've been having. Um, I really have been loving this very much. So the, I have the cleanser like this. It's a cream cleanser. And then I also, this I really, really love is the uh, Nourishing Cleansing Oil. I really love their Nourishing Cleansing Oil too. I think it's been really great to melt down any of the makeup that I have on. And um, it says it dissolves impurities in makeup and uh, replenishes skin. This has been phenomenal. Now I know other people know about cleansing oils. Um, so if you have any favorite cleansing oils or some cleansing oils that you know of that you might think um, I might be interested in or a, that would be a good try, let me know down below because I am interested to try some other cleansing oils. Um, this is on the cheaper end, of course. It's like around four or some dollars. But I just wanted to try a couple other ones out to see if that one, like, is a big winner or is there something else out there that's better, whether it's cheaper or more. I just, I was kind of curious, so. And then, um... The Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Love this guy here. Been another saver for this weather. Uh, just feels very good and refreshing. Been doing it in along with my school skincare routine. Um, every day and night. I use it day and night. So I use it like twice in a day. Um, then this guy here. I'm still... I got it in my point perks. Um, now I don't use it all the time. Like... Because it is an expensive product. It's from uh, El Generous and it's the Advanced Anti Aging Repairing Oil. Um, and like I said, I got this from my Point Perks from Sephora. I love this oil. I'm going to be honest with you, this is like around $60, not, not this size, the, the normal size, the big size, um, but still that's expensive, about $60. Um, but I would actually make the splurge and actually get it. And I am really thinking of doing that because this oil here, I really like even better than the Argan oil from Josie Marion. I know I cannot believe I'm saying that, but it is the truth. I am loving how this goes on my skin. I mean, everybody's going to be different, of course. But for my skin, this has been amazing. It is just... I, I can't even explain it, but it has done some major, um, I know a lot of people will be like, you know, like, oh my gosh, what are you doing to your skin? And sometimes I think, is it this when I put this on that day and work with it, is that maybe what it is? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing all kinds of stuff for skincare, so I'm a little bit of everywhere. But um, this definitely, I really am really thinking of making the splurge. I really think I want to. Um, and I, it will be worth it because I really do, I really love it. And I do love it more than argan oil. Argan oil is very nice. I do like it. I pat it in and whatever. But I feel this even does more moisture and hydration and nourishing things to my skin. So, yeah. So that might be a splurge. Then, um, the Dr. Dines Triple Strength Eye Wrinkle Smoother. I have been using this mostly at night I've been using this and it has really been extra smoothing and really has smoothed out a lot for around my eye area so really been liking that I love Dr. Dinesh skincare she's another skincare um, that I really really like so and then another company that had sent me some stuff they sent me those ma these masks those masks that you put like on just on your face like you just set it on your face um, the company is called Timeless Truth, and I got three different masks that I got to try. Uh, this one says it's an apple collagen. I had the deep sea one, and then I have a hyaluronic acid one. Um, and that's kind of why I bought the masks from Sally Beauty, because I wanted to see how those were and how they worked and everything. And in all honesty... Um, I'll be doing a review on these masks here. Um, it will probably be up within this week or within very shortly. I'm not sure exactly when I'll be putting it up, but it will be very shortly. These are exceptionally great. I, I mean, like, I haven't tried every mask out there. I always like saying that because I don't want people thinking I've tried every single one. And in the, you know, like, 
that I, you know, like I know it, this is going to be the best ever, you know, I mean, because there's always going to maybe be another one that might be even better yet, who knows, you know, but being new to it all and me giving a try to these and then a try to the Sally Beauties, which the Sally Beauty ones weren't bad, but uh, when I'll, you'll see the review, the, yeah, so the Timeless Truth Mouse I've been using, I am in love with and I will definitely be purchasing those. I already made up my mind. I'm definitely, because I fell in love with that whole mask thing, so. All right, so, oh, lips. For lips, um, I always like to put something on my lips throughout the day, like whether I'm wearing makeup or not, or whatever. Uh, well, mostly when I'm not wearing makeup, I put these on. Um, and at night when I'm going to bed, I love to put something on my lips and stuff to keep them nourished. And one of my things that I've been loving is my uh, Nivea Lip Butter Caramel Cream Kisses in the little tin that, you know, that a lot of people have. I love this. Okay. However, <laughs> um, I have really fallen in love with, this is uh, Dr. Dines Lip Balm. This has Dr. Dines Hydra Shield in it. If you're familiar with Dr. Dines and you have used the Hydra Shield, then you know what I'm talking about. How that stuff is really amazing serum that plumps up your skin and um, gets the collagen flowing and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, I got two of these. Uh, of Dr. Dines, which if you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I always post up as soon as I know, because uh, Dr. Dines will do a thing where uh, a couple times in a year she will do a chat where you can ask questions and talk about whatever and just join in the chat with a whole bunch of us. And then she'll have some giveaways a lot of times or gifts or whatever. And this time, um, I had gotten two of these lip thingies, um, and honest to goodness, when I first put it on, it was like in love. Now, I mean, it does have a tinted color to it, but oh my gosh, this is the best lip balm I have, but it wouldn't surprise me because her Hydra Shield is some pretty potent stuff for your skin. So now to have for your lips. Oh my goodness, this, this is the best lip balm. So I was so excited about getting this, which I will be using it up, obviously. I'm not going to just, you know, whatever. I'm going to be using it up. But from now on, I'm really, because I, I do have another one, so um, I'm going to have to look and see for sure how much they are. I'm not quite sure. But I really love this, this lip balm. Um... So I, I'm definitely thinking it's going to be a favorite lip balm. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. So then, okay, so now we're going into makeup. Um, for makeup, a uh, powder, like a powder, setting powder or whatever. I've been really liking my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. It comes in this thing here like that. Um, I've been using it. I don't have no problems with it settling in fine lines or anything like that. So, um, I, I just, I really haven't noticed it. It's in sheer. I don't know if they're all in sheer. I think they are, but I haven't had a problem and I really like this. So I've been using that a lot. And then also the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. This is a great eye setting powder. I haven't tried too many of them. But it's funny because this is like almost one of the first, maybe second ones I've tried. Um, and this seems to be on YouTube a lot that a lot of people seem to really love. So I don't even see maybe any point of me trying any other ones. Because um, I'm happy with this one. And I even heard Terror Baby say that this is her favorite. And she likes a lot of high-end stuff. So that is saying a lot for this guy. So I really like that. Then, for another powder I've been using is my Revlon Nearly Naked one. And this is a really nice finely milled powder. Um, if you're in the market for a powder, you want to get a drugstore one, 
I would definitely say check out the Nearly Naked one from Revlon. I haven't tried a whole lot, but I do get a little afraid of powders, uh, you know, from the drugstore or in general because, um, you know, of the, the thoughts that they've set up my fine lines and, and that, so, but that one doesn't give me the problem either. So I quite like that. Um, this, I definitely am getting in a full size. I love this stuff very much, so yes, I do. <laughs> and it is the Tarte Smooth Operator Illuminating Serum. Now, another point perk thing I got a while back ago, but holy cow, this thing is amazing too. It is very moisturizing, very, it's just awesome. That's all I'm going to say is it is awesome and if you're not big on to illuminating products then you won't like it but if you are check this baby out maybe get a sample maybe you have somebody in Sephora give you a nice oh, just love it so uh, and then for under my eyes I like this uh, L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Eye, Eye Smoother been using that a lot love that very nice to set up for under the eyes uh, concealer. I really love Kors, some of the Kors products. I have their foundation, and this is the concealer corrector. This is a very nice concealer corrector, very uh, creamy, smooth product. It is a very nice, and I think it's for anti-aging, anti-aging, yes, anti-aging, anti-wrinkle. This is a really great concealer. So I've been digging into this lately, I've been using this lately. Foundations, I haven't really gotten a chance to really say too much with that because I've had I have several different foundations I've been playing around with, so I really can't say a favorite right now. Or you know, I'm just I'm all over the place lately. Um, okay, so uh, the brows now from Hard Candy. I've been really liking this. I haven't had that's what I've been using on my brows a lot lately. Um, I haven't had no problems. I wouldn't mind trying, I think it's the L'Oreal. Is it L'Oreal that makes one now? I think. I wouldn't mind trying that one just to give it a whirl. But uh, the Brows Now from Hard Candy is really great on this end here is where the Brows um, fiber thingies are at. And then on this end here is like uh, to highlight above around your brow bone area so or in the inner interior wherever you know highlight area this has been really great and it's pretty inexpensive don't need to say any more but voluminous mascara I've been still going through this and using this so I'm sure I'm going to be getting close to a point where I'm going to be starting uh, some other um, mascaras I'm going to get another one of these but then I think should I hold off because like I have other mascaras that I want to go through and I don't want to be mascara overload but I really love this so mm, it's hard but this is just an amazing drugstore mascara I've been loving it um, this I did a review on the Physicians Formula the Argon Wear Blush in Natural oh, this thing is so pretty I just love it. I'm definitely getting the rose one. There's a rose color, and I'm definitely going to get the rose color. I just love these blushes. These are such really pretty blushes. I wish I would have gotten more of um, some of their other blushes, but they can be a pricey, so you are better off if you can use a coupon or go on Ulta. I noticed Ulta the one day was like buy one get the other one for 50% off kind of thing and this I actually think I would have to buy a full size of this it came in that lip kit that I got um, from Sephora and it's ah it's from makeup forever and it's the lip pencil it says aqua lip um, dang what it's in 3c I think that's I think it's supposed to be like a natural, but it says 3C on here. Maybe that's how they go by the... But it, it's just a nice neutrally color. And um, right there it is. I just really love that. Now, if I can find one in drugstore, 
then I'd probably stick with that. I don't know. I'll have to look and see if I can, but because I'd imagine Makeup Forever is going to be pricey, of course, but I really like that. I've taken it and already filled it all in my lips before, like outlined my lips and then filled it all in and then put a gloss on top. I've already done that and loved the look. So, um, which what I've done is I used this here, which I see why everybody loves White Russian, which came in that lip kit too. I've used the White Russian and put it on top of that and woo. And um, it just, it really gone nice together. But there's White Russian right beside it there. Um, there's not much of a color, but it's just a nice creamy look color. And last but not least, I believe this is it. This brush here from Real Techniques, this big brush that I use for my um, powders and everything. I just love this guy. Really do. Um, I wouldn't mind getting other brushes from other companies. I'm a little skeptical, I will be honest, on the Sigma ones. Only because I hear several people mention that the, um, the, the whatever falls out, the, you know, the, the hair, the whatever, you know, on your brush, <laughs> your bristles, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so, hmm, and I, cause I don't want to spend a lot of money. That's kind of why I got these. I, I really like these. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on the metal ones, which they are more pricey than these ones were, but I can understand because this, the metal ones are, they're more durable here on the handle, so I, 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 I get that. Um, so for brushes, um, let me know what your thoughts are on the Sigma brushes themselves. Is there other brushes out there that you know that are not as expensive and work just as good, maybe better? Um, or, you know, even if there is some brushes out there that are a little more bright, just, you know, Kind of give me some ideas here between my little cleansing oil and brushes. I would really like to know and possibly might try and venture and get some and give them a try, you know, and see what they're all about. So anyway, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are not subscribed, I would so love to have you. So go ahead and click the subscribe button and join me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me so much. And I would love it very much too. Um, so go ahead and give it a nice thumbs up. Uh, also, I will have some links down below to some other beauties, um, some mature beauties. Uh, if you're you know, wanting to take a look and see what other beauties um, are out there in, that are uh, in the mature family and stuff. Uh, I will have a couple links down below. Um, one was from Carol, the O'Carroll Show, and the other one is from Allie. Allie is Living, I believe that's how you say her name. Both two really sweet ladies, so I will put those links down below. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, y'all take care. See you later. Bye-bye.